Oh, what's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play as the United States of America. And in this and in this episode, I'll be attacking and destroying the Spanish once and for all. Our former ally shall be destroyed in order to make way for a greater, stronger empire. Anyway, let's get cracking and we have a few more city assaults to complete in Italy. And that's going to be super important because we're going to be getting to the stage of wanting to declare war on Russia most probably or maybe Prussia maybe Prussia because of their particular positioning we may want to try and jump on them as well as we can we might be able to capture a bunch of their cities in one go but we will if we do that we are going to want these armies probably to be brought up to provide cover Okay, right, let's take... Okay, let's maybe attack from this direction. Yeah, terrain's a little bit better. Okay, right. Let's drop the guns here. Howitzers up front. The enemy's got lots of infantry, so that my howitzers are going to be busy. Let's take our line infantry corps, set them up, my militia and irregulars hold back, my cavalry just sit ready to manoeuvre as required. Okay. You may make a breach, howitzers shoot quicklime, doesn't really matter at what, cause all, they're all, all the targets are good. Well, that's a good hit because ultimately they can they can hit the line infantry those are good targets okay let's speed up time a little bit because once we make the breach this will become a lot this will be a lot faster going is occupying this building but once you make once you make our breach They'll land. They'll sit down here and try and defend the breach, and then we can just clear them out. Right now, we're doing some really good damage, especially here because they're all clumped up on the walls. Okay, there we go. Gunners engage this piece of wall here because they have no howitzers whatsoever. Um, howitzers aim at this clump here, actually. Let's begin to push our line up. Good quick climb hit. Okay, you hit the grenadiers. Two shots wide. These guys run a bit just to get past the guns. And you're okay to walk now, and so are you. 54% on that other breach. Not bad, Fusiliers. Not bad at all. I'll move my cavalry over to the other flank. Okay, let's focus the quick climb down into this, just this area here. There's so many troops. Good hit, I saw there was the frame rate stutter. Couple more shells coming in. Okay, one more hit will dismantle this section of the wall. A lot of these citizenry will go flying. Oh! I mean, it's so impressive. A lot of them land on their feet, but it doesn't really help. Okay, 
gunners engage this section here. Okay, so what we want to do... You want to keep pushing forwards. We haven't got... They've, they've got enough troops that they can cover the, the shoulders of this section of the fort. So we want to advance such that we may provoke them to attack. But I think more realistically, we are going to end up weakening them. Yeah, but how can we actually make conduct the attack unless we focus focus how it's fire up on these these units here we can try and assault this section here and try draw them out through the gate Bravo! through the breach rather Ultimately, these guys are quite a lot of mass. There we go. They're manning the guns, attempting to engage us. Okay, we might actually shift. Shift our line right. Left, rather. <laughs> Okay, there we go. That's enough damage there. Push forward. So we're going to siege the wall. We're going to assault the wall, rather. Gunners engage the breach. My right flank is going to be a, a bit exposed, getting into a shooting war with the wall, which is not really what we want to do. There we go. Lancer Guards are coming out. troops up here but they aren't going to be able to defend them. Quick climbs is coming in against the other breach that's working. So yeah we can't really push this side right now because it's too it's, they've got too many troops. Fusiliers are coming out which would be okay. Some of our troops are wavering. Sadly, they broke. They should come back, though. No, you guys are the ones that broke. Interesting. They should still come back. You broke as well. That's not surprising. But again, you should come back. Hitting the enemy positions. Broken winded, just broken. Regimento de Soria, garrison line. This one unit might not be enough. Yeah, they're going to wave and break, so this flank needs to. Rest and reorganize, and then come back into the fight. Unless the attack will still go ahead. It 
seems a bit mad that such a small unit of guys pushed away three full units of line infantry, but there we go. Okay, let's keep the quick line coming in. Artillery, you are attacking that section there, so that's still good. Quick climb, start thinning out this block. You potentially attack that unit of militia. Might bring. Hmm, bring my cavalry out and around like this, because they've pushed their um, fusiliers out after us for some reason. strange if you never come back because you didn't actually I'm not quite sure why you broke because the fusiliers hadn't come out yet okay, someone came back okay there we go just march back up to your positions you're tired so we're not going to make you run This unit, really, it's a surprise. Let's run the cavalry on try to see if we can catch these fusiliers out exposed in the open. There we go. Some of their units are now advancing to the breaches to be destroyed. We should thin these out somewhat. Keep attacking. Yeah, if you break, that would be that would be very silly. Oh, I'm citizenry are coming away. They're probably going to come out to play stakes, but our cavalry is going to effectively loop around these stakes here. Try and intercept those fusiliers before they get back into the port. One unit of Grenadier Guards is left. Heavy artillery fire, lots of it. We managed to wipe out a lot of the enemy. Oh, their fire lock arm citizenry are actually coming in to try and attack us. Where are your stakes? Stakes end there. There we go. Kill the armed citizenry. And try to secure the gate. I mean, ultimately, things are sufficiently good now. Artillery, cease fire. Regiment of line. Push in and attack that guard unit. Fusilier unit. Human of fire will off. Just kill that Grenadier Guard unit. We'll make we'll creep our way in. Gunners clear out that section. How it says switch to round shot, drop some shells on top of the general's bodyguard. Howitzers drop shells on unit of militia. Bring up the general. Okay, US volunteer regiment. Okay, there we go. That's the fusiliers annihilated. Run my cavalry up to here. Should be able to secure this gate. My infantry is wavering, routing. Wowzers. Okay, you 
man, form your line. Full unit of line infantry, routed by a unit of Spanish line, a depleted unit of Spanish line infantry. How odd. Same here as well. They're routing. They're very unhappy. And they're against. No, to be fair, those ones might have been shot by my artillery. That's fair. Okay, the gatehouse is ours. This is very messy indeed. New man fire a will into the garrison line infantry. They're reloading, but we're engaging at point blank range. They're coming out. Okay, you guys are going to be kind of useless up here because you've got a bunch of guys stuck at the bottom of the wall, so they won't be able to shoot. There we go. The enemy broke. Oh yeah, a couple of unexpected routings there, but the city was taken. Whew. Could have gone badly wrong. Excellent. Madrid is ours. Let's get repairing. Repair all the government buildings. Let's replenish the army. And let's get rid of the University of Salamanca. Are there any more? Don't need any more naval production. Great Cartagena. Let's start to recruit a couple of units to garrison ports. Get rid of the classical university. Upgrade the roads. I bet. Actually, we need to get rid of the seminary as well. Two happiness buildings. Get rid of getting rid of two universities. Seminary. Upgrading some of our industry. I think that's going to be okay. The minus 28. Getting rid of the clamor for reform will help a lot, but not quite enough. Okay, let's recruit a batch of line from Lisbon, ready to help defend from any rebels. Clarence Dyer. Okay, let's. I think I said I was going to. I said I thought I was done recruiting uh, enemy. Recruiting new armies, but you know, I think when it comes to fighting Prussia, because they've got lots, especially down here. Uh, all right, before we do anything else, though, this army's in good shape. Let's attack Genoa. That will be one more Italian state decapitated. And then we'll be marching onwards quite nicely. I think when our when our armies in the east get within range of Russian territory in Persia, we're going to declare war on Russia. We're going to, but I think the objective is going to be to hold in Europe until we are ready. I think right now our push into Austrian territory is actually it's a bit of a wedge into enemy. Territory. So you've got Prussia to the north and Ottomans to the south. And then our Russians to the east. So you need to be real careful how we do that. Okay, actually I might have an assault division to attack and secure a breach. So we're only going to have the one breach. And then we're going to have a flanking division. And surprisingly, those do not count as fighting. An assault division ready to try and flank. Good, right. Make your breach, Commander. How oh, it's is going to quick climb. They wanted to attack the centre from the 
default behavior that artillery kind of does. It always wants to go for the guns. Which isn't bad in of itself. Okay, pick a couple of other of these Genoan units. We want to attack and threaten the breach enough so they pull more and more troops in to defend it. Because we're not hidden, they know they can position troops up here. Oh, there we go. While lock on citizenry units positioning quite nicely. Three pound a horse shouldn't be a problem. And the mortars might be a bit of a problem. Ah, the armed citizenry have fled. Okay, come on, man. Get ready to defend your breach. And then we'll keep knocking you out. Your armed citizenry have been significantly depleted. One howitzer has been switched to round shot and keep engaging garrison mortars. The other unit is going to keep hitting them with quick lime. Keep advancing. Artillery engaged. That bastion there. There we go. These aren't necessarily the most capable units, but they are the large numbers of enemy units. Actually, it's probably I'm probably better off just focusing on their their infantry across the board. The sooner we clear them out, the sooner we can actually uh, attack. One second, sneezing coming. Climbing, so we're doing some good damage. Oh, you're not shooting at the bastion anymore. Go get him. Cavalry, go up to here and over to here. Okay, now the mortars are here. Let's get ready to rumble. Let's try our last. A previous plan of trying to assault the wall, see if we can draw any of them out. Need to run over here, cavalry, run. Getting ready to defend their breach. Something like this. Get the cassier up here. Get these mercenaries to attempt to scale the wall. See if I can convince some of them it's a bad idea to reorientate against my pack back here. Who do I want? I want 
you, because you're going over here, and you. See if we can capture that gatehouse intact. And we'll have two units of infantry plus two cavalry units ready to push through. There we go, the enemy is. seeking to advance out of the gate, but we're not letting them. potentially have a way in, but we're not going to go for it until we're sorted over here. So this Garrison Guardian is going to hold us off quite nicely. That's why we need to be clever. Oh! Whole unit destroyed. Go. This unit's not going to defend this section of the wall, which is great. So there we go. So we're going to attack that garrison unit. Well, they're, we're going to that they're in trouble. We want this unit to attack the gates. Get my infantry, get my cavalry, and these units of infantry in. And then this unit. Just going to try and get up here as well. Just keep clearing them out. They keep if they're going to keep maneuvering, try and defend our breach, defend the breach. Just make sure that we keep maneuvering to attack. Get into the flank of these garrison guards. Okay, we haven't captured all of the gate. You're taking lots of hits from the enemy. Okay, when you when you when these guys are finished. Getting up the wall. Thankfully, you're just sitting there. You're just sitting there. I'd like you to not be doing that. So I think the problem is they're going to plug up our breach. Let's try it. Let's see if we can get through. Once you've manned your positions, you'll pour fire onto the troops at the centre of the breach. So you keep them busy, Regiment of Force. And my cuirassier. Get through this gap. Let's try getting through the gap. Oh, no idea. What can you really do on your own? You have to attack. You have to try to try and attack that mortar unit because that's what's causing the problems. Line infantry unit off the wall. There we go. Now we're going to scatter the fox amongst the pigeons. Okay, you men. Oh, you're. Oh, I know you're not manning the fire step because of this unit. Okay, kill that garrison guard unit. Both my infantry units are now going to be stuck trying to 
battle their way through this unit of line infantry. Cannonball my crossier through the centre. Now is the time to commit. You're going to try and attack them. Infantry try to get through. Try to get my general in. You're right. Don't attack that unit because they're already upset. Get in here and help back up my cavalry. Yeah, push through to the center. Maybe it's try help. Ooh, good god. Quick climb came in, but let's cease fire. You may attack the line infantry, you may attack that unit. These rangers try to get in. I'm not sure where they're gonna go. Provincial Cav, General's Bodyguard, go for the General's Bodyguard, try break their spirits. Excellent. You've killed the Grenadier, the, um, the Garrison Guards, so let's get you off this wall. Oh, no, you don't. They want to get involved in the center, in the fight in the center. See, we can do exactly what you do to us. Keep attacking. Go on, General. Fight! Fight the line infantry. Don't let them get away. You get over there and help them. The rest just get over into this fight. You've had one fight, yes. What about the second fight? Let's maybe get my regiment of horse over to attack these gunners. Let's go for the provincial cavalry. Curiosier managed to break away. I guess they always had a guy stuck in that fight. No, this way. Don't go back over there. Kill the general. to go for these these gunners because these gunners are one of the few reasons they're not actually breaking is because they're not actually under attack very well this unit if the general wants to flee this infantry unit will form up and engage the enemy with musket fire They're actually spinning their guns around now and engaging us. Okay, let's make, bring my general up here. Let's take that one last provincial unit. Get my crossier away. General up here. Mercenaries have been fought to the death by the line infantry, but they've made it. Now oh, 
sir. Switch to round shot. Bombard the first regiment of line. Good. And then you men. Push it up. 33 against 2. Go on, you hatchet wielding maniacs. Got him. The enemy general's been shot dead. The host staff has charged into our unit. They're got rid of. Oh, you've still got two units of line you want you to kill. Kill them. You can't make up your mind about who you're going to shoot. Something like that. Push you men attack those gunners just to make them go away. I'll start shooting against the first. Oh no you don't. You want to reset our timer. Run them down. Lost? Do we lose the timer? Really? Oh yeah, we did. Because of one guy. All right, well, let's speed this up. Because ultimately, we lost it again. There we go. Oh, I thought as much. It's a good kill. Genoa is ours. Let's get rid of you. Let's get the army rebuilt. I mean, they're going to be unhappy with us for a while. Minus three, minus three. We'll exempt them from tax just to speed this up a little bit. Then that's Genoa taken. Um, in America, against Italy, we're probably going to stay sieging. You're replenishing. Against Venice, we're going to continue sieging. But then what we want is if we're going to attack... If we're going to attack the Prussians at some point, we're going to want... A couple of armies here ready to push Berlin aggressively. You're able to try and push Copenhagen with your friends. You probably want Warsaw to be fortified. If we're going to defend... Well, if we're going to hold a front line against Russia, then we want these, these territories to be fortified. Especially because Poland might come after them. Uh, Poland. Prussia might come after them. Let's get some cavalry. Well, let's get some armies up to help defend Warsaw. We can have some armies to defend against the Ottomans, because you never know. Ooh, Jesuit College, let's get rid of you in, Croat in uh, Zagreb. Okay, I might in Hungary build two church schools. Might even make it three church schools just to try and get some more priests over here. So Riley Grinds, if we do go for Prussia, you're going to need to be up here. Can you leave Württemberg yet? You can. Finally. Good. Because, yeah, there's going to be a lot of fighting over here near Prague. You probably can't leave area yet. Minus two, minus five. Let's recruit a batch of dragoons. I 
So you've got a Pandora unit. You're recruiting rockets. So let's let you push forward. There you go. We'll speed up the marrying up of these armies. Ah, there you are. You guys. Aha! Also have the Knights of St. John. So let's take this fleet, put them into Safaki. Let's get them uh, repaired. Still ship shape. Okay. Sir. Edgar Bevins. Let us attack Valletta. Because then that'll be. Well, that'll be three. Three uh, factions in the in Empire Total War destroyed, which will help speed up the end phase somewhat. Um, but mainly, yeah, we've got Russia, Austria, Russia, Prussia, and the Ottomans. Hope really we might be able to, to just attack the Russians from the east. And then, as we build up our strength against the Prussians, perhaps. Okay, be aggressive with our artillery a bit. We're going to send some units to be aggressive, trying to scale the wall on the right. A handful of units are going to push the breach on the left. Cavalry just go wherever is appropriate. Either way. Push the wall. So. I suppose ultimately we can't really attack the. We can't really attack the mortars there anyway. Push forward, storm the breach. These mercenaries are going to go cover the gate. No, oh, no, don't use skirmishes. Can you guys can scale the wall in the middle? Just give everybody orders. So you guys can just wait. You're going to be targets for the howitzers, but you might, the mortars, but you might be a bit close. Yeah, they're ripping the ass out of this, these units to make that breach. I think with everything we got. Get one cavalry up here to bolt to back up these guys. Let me just get that wall cracked open quick. Just starting to use. Percussion shells against us, it looks like. What? Damage 100%. And the wall hasn't fallen down. I have never, ever seen that. Work of the numbers. It looks like it. My, my howitzers are engaging the center now. Excellent. Well, then you men need to fall back. My cavalry need to get over here and support this push. And these men, once they've scaled the wall, they are going to. Run over to the gate. Right. 
every, it looks like every, almost everybody's gonna run over to this gate. Yeah, these guys are screwed. Get over here, I think. Building secure. Push forward. Cavalry, storm in. Yep, yeah. there, there we go, it came down. Right, even can actually carry on. Attack! Continue Republican Guard. Cavalry run for the rock for the wide gun. Push in through the bridge. Okay, all of these units. So you guys, you guys, and provincial scouts also get off the wall. So we're all going to get into a slow fest at the gate. 52nd Infantry are upset as a result. Doesn't matter though. Now we've got rid of their... Got rid of their mortars. A lot of their capability for killing our men has gone. Although our entire breach is ran. I think that was this artillery that came in and didn't help that. Okay, you men have to run. Come on, General. Try rally the troops. Regiment of horse charged that unit of line. Oh, they were shattered. Shattered, broken, shattered. Well, they're going to come out and attack us. Although, I thought the guns weren't really firing at this section. But, okay. Well, I suppose they had a target, I go, I guess. Okay, you men take the command HQ. We're all attacking quite nicely. We're going to clear out the centre here. This first unit's getting shredded by canister shot, by shrapnel shot rather. Yeah, they want to pursue these men off of the map, which is fine. You men push in to attack there. Grenadiers. Make sure they're hacking through the enemy. You guys, stay doing what you're doing because you're engaging Biolocom citizenry. Send the general in, cease fire the guns. That was a massive snafu. But yeah, I was I was sure the guns well when I tried to make the guns pat the wall, they kind of stopped. I don't know, maybe they start up again. Actually coming back. Not that it makes much of a difference. Your Republican Guard. Kill, kill, kill. So they're getting shot on the flank as they're trying to attack us because a long road from an infantry scout to letting them know what's going on. Howitz is engaged at Fire Archon Citizenry here with Quicklime. 
we're starting to get the timer kicking in. There we go, we keep pushing them back. Good hits. Keep killing them. Kill them all. There we go. The enemy infantry have decided to leave. Yeah, I wasn't. So, oh, oh, the other unit are routed. That's what happened. Let's bring you back. We pushed away the enemy general's bodyguard. Okay, right. Provincial scouts stop firing because they they're they're firing into a bit of a messy combat. There you go, you men just hold. Push forward, elite men of the USA. Nice, okay. Uh, the, the long riflemen have decided to take up position shooting this way too. Okay, let's just cease fire, because right now you're, you're probably just shooting to the back of my own men more than anything. One of them came over here. The speed! Oh, the little one-on-one -on -one duels in Empire are good fun. So some generic hits. There we go. Some scripted fights. Somebody killed a provincial scout. That was you. One of my grenadiers shot into this shot and shoot this guy and killed a provincial scout. Oh dear. Well, victory is ours. A very chaotic battle. A very chaotic battle. Victory belongs to the USA. And that is a. Yeah, that's the third faction knocked out this turn, which is quite effective. So we're taking a lot of damage, but we can afford to take a lot of damage because we don't have any immediate enemies to worry about. Just in Crompton, let's get into. Valletta, we don't need the harbour to be a military port. Okay, so we got rid of Spain, so that means that Cuba is ripe for the taking. But that is what you will be doing, good sir. Okay, just recruit a bunch of infantry. You're going to go off to Cuba. I'll probably stand to disband some of these. Maybe to spend all of these dragoons. Let's upgrade the global trading company. Everything else is okay. I mean, you're going up. Sir. Forward! Sir. For crown and country! Your army's as big as it needs to be. Sir. But you've got Make two space. units of light infantry, which we will make space for. Your humble servant. And then you gonna make your way up to Boston. Then you're recruiting your trade fleets. Oh, no, recruit wrong. Sh wrong. Okay, let's get you some privateers. You're recruiting the rest of your ships of the line. Okay, that's quite nice. So from a diplomacy perspective, the world's looking kind of empty. Not entirely empty. Once the Italian states and Venice are gone, it will be even emptier. But we're not worrying about that now. But it looks like next term we're going to be right on the border with Russia. Yes. Okay, that's let's make ring. space. You've got a Gurkha. You don't have a Gurkha. In position. You yes. need to probably come back. 
How many Gurkhas have we got left? Two. Nice. Genoa destroyed. Knights St. John destroyed. Spain destroyed. Nice. Let's hit enter and let's see how things change. We are going to push some troops up the east of the Caspian Sea. We are not going to give the Russians safe haven. Ah, oh, Prussia lost against the Venetian fleet. That's actually, I mean, that's not bad for us. All the damage that can be done to the Prussian fleet is good for us. Okay, I might cancel uh, their f uh, military access. I do not want them wandering through our territory. So many armies. But this is why I think if we can jump on them and capture a bunch of their cities, they'll well, they won't be in a position to stop us because their economy will crater and they won't be able to support the rest of their enormous armed forces. You're just moving your moving your armies around. Ah, they are going to Sally. Fun. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the defense of the forces around Rome. Cheers, everyone.